The crime is unspeakable. A grandfather and his four grandsons slain shortly after they arrived at their vacation cabin for what they thought would be a wonderful weekend of family fun. The killer, a convict who is on the run after escaping from a prison bus. Now hard questions are being asked. Was enough warning given, alerting people that the convict could be in the area? Bye, thanks. It's an unimaginable tragedy, the murder of four youngsters and their grandfather. The Collins brothers, 16-year-old Carson, 11-year-old Hudson, and 18-year-old Waylon loved baseball. And heartbroken friends gathered around the pitcher's mound at their school in Tomball, Texas, to grapple with the devastating loss. The brothers were celebrating the start of summer with their cousin Bryson and grandfather Mark at their family vacation cabin, where there were ponds for fishing and woods for hunting. Cops say all five family members were murdered by a convicted killer who had escaped from a prison bus. Just such a tragic story, a terrible thing. This cell phone video captures the moment when the inmate crashed the bus and fled into the woods weeks ago. There you go. I spoke to Melanie Tieperman, whose 11 year old son filmed the dramatic escape. I did not realize the danger that this man actually posed to all of us. Gonzalo Artemio Lopez was serving a life sentence for killing a man with a pickaxe. He was on a prison bus like this one, being driven to a medical appointment when he broke free from his restraints, stabbed the driver, and took off on foot. He's in the woods. The video shows cops on the scene as Lopez fled into the woods. He was on the lam for three weeks before he ended up at the Collins family ranch. It's unclear if he was already inside when the grandfather and his four grandsons got there or if he broke in while they were there. A burglary right next door may have been a warning sign that Lopez was still hiding out in the area. The grandfather's friend spoke to reporters. I do feel that had Mark been made aware that he was within a day or two of being on his property, he would have never exposed those kids to that danger. What could have saved the lives uh, of this family? I really believe if they had not misled us uh, to believe that he could be somewhere else and to be more vigilant um, and prepared, now the what if has happened and this family has lost their lives. After he murdered the boys and their grandfather, Lopez stole their pickup truck. He was killed in a shootout with police 250 miles away. Evil did visit our doorsteps. Authorities in Texas say they suspected the escaped prisoner might have been using unoccupied houses in the area for food and shelter, which is why they had 40 roving patrols and numerous law enforcement personnel involved in the manhunt.